Investing in yourself is an investment for your kids. If you've ever been on an airplane, you've heard the instructions. In the event of a change in cabin air pressure, oxygen mask will fall from above. Please secure your own mask before assisting others. We're going to talk about that when it comes to saving for your kid's college education. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Mal Vodi with FinanciallyPresent.com, your one-stop shop for financial education and investment education. And today we're going to talk about why it's critical to prioritize your retirement over college savings for your kids. I love my kids, don't get me wrong, but I have to make sure that I'm being realistic with the situation. And this is why I'm making this video. I plan to support them in any way I can in all of their endeavors in some form. But when it comes to college education versus my retirement, I have to be realistic and understand that my retirement will be more expensive than their college education. So I have to prioritize that first. College tuition goes up over and over as time progresses, and we can expect that for our, our kids, but so does the cost of retirement. Once their social security number was issued, they've owned stocks. And most recently, they have 529 accounts that are going to be invested in the market for them on a regular basis for the next 12 and 14 years respectively. And that money is going to grow to help pay for their college. Right now as it is, private college tuition on an annual basis is about $38,000 a year. And public out of state is about $22,000 a year. And then public in state is about $10,000 a year. So it is going to be very expensive but I do want them to have some skin in the game. I want them to carry some of the burden so that they value it differently. I have three main reasons why your retirement is more important than their college education. Number one, I want them to be involved in the payment. Those who excel in college education are most likely those who understand the cost. So I want them to be involved in getting grants and getting scholarships. I want them to decide, hey, is it more valuable to go to an out-of-state school versus in-state school because the costs are different? I also want them to consider the fact that community college is an option and that it is significantly cheaper so they can take those courses there and save money. All in all, I want them to be part of the process so that they can understand the full value. If they happen to have student loans when they graduate, then they have an incentive to pay those loans off, meaning they know they need a job. The second reason is because there is no guarantee. There's no guarantee that they're gonna to go to college at all. Some of them prefer that they don't want to or that they can get their skills outside of that. That's perfectly acceptable. I just wanna make sure that they are working a fulfilling job that they can help serve others and of course find value in it. But there's no guarantee they're actually gonna to go to college. Uh, I have two kids, so if I am investing in two 529 plan accounts, and only one decides they want to go to college, I can actually move that money from one child to benefit the other. You can consolidate those plans or move it to someone else within the immediate family. Be sure to look at the 529 plan rules in your state if that's the type of account you have you're, that you're using for your kids. And if I had two 529 plan accounts and I'm not necessarily going to use one for education, the main benefit of those accounts is that the funds are going towards education. So I could have invested in something else with better options like stocks, um, real estate, or other business endeavors. So uh, because of there's no guarantee that they're actually going to go to college, I mitigate my risk by planning for my retirement. The third and most important reason, I don't want them to worry. Retirement is very, very expensive, and there are no guarantees that it's going to be a healthy retirement. And the last thing I would want, or me and my wife would want, is for my kids to have to take care of us. So we want to make sure that the retirement can sustain us. If retirement is not healthy or not as fortunate, and at least the savings and investments we've made over time are available, they can support us so that my kids will not have to worry about the job that they get after college paying for me and my wife to live. So Lord willing, they have grandkids, we would be able to support them. We'd be able to move to where they are and support them in that regard. And 
if something were to happen, we would still have those retirement funds to provide for our kids. This is another reason why it's just more important to have something sustainable for your retirement versus their college education. Basically, indirectly, they will still have some level of support if our retirement is more robust than their college savings. If they happen to still be paying off college debt and our retirement is still available and retirement is comfortable, it can still go towards that. It can help them. And of course, if something were to happen to me and my wife, the money would still go to the kids and they could support uh, their expenses from that regard. So there you have it. Education is an investment, and I'm particularly okay with my kids partially working part-time while they're in school, or at least having some skin in the game when it comes to their college education. We know that those who pay for it value it differently than those who don't. So it's extremely important that you, as an investor and as a parent, limit your risk or manage it properly when it comes to your children. So what are your thoughts? I'd love to see your comments and I'd love to hear about your perspective, especially if you disagree. If you like this video, go ahead, hit that like button, turn on notifications so that you don't miss out, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new to the page. And lastly, until next time, stay present.